My boys and I give hundreds of performances, day and night, with this same fleet of Chevrolets. And when you see the pounding we give them in these highlights from various shows, you get an idea of why the car we use has to be able to take it. And now, here's our announcer getting the show underway. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome in behalf of Joey Chitwood and his world champion, Auto Thrill Show. And now moving along with the individual introduction of each of the Daredevil stars driving brand new 1956 Chevrolet cars. Direction That's how we take our bows. Just the drivers, mind you, not the Chevrolets. We can spin on a dime and give you a nickel change. Believe me, it takes more than hard braking and an expert at the wheel to do that. It takes a combination of balanced weight distribution, plus the way Chevrolet's front end suspension is built into the chassis. There's the combination that makes for sure-footed, anti-dive braking control. Safer, easier, all-around handling with a car that'll stop heads up. Yes, safer by a long shot, even in a full reverse spin, which we wouldn't wish on anybody driving on highways. But if it happens in an extreme emergency, Chevrolet's combination of outrigger rear springs and body balance are protection against a rollover. I don't expect you'll ever run into any road hazards like these, but here's another example of Chevrolet's ability to meet and beat an emergency. It's like balancing an egg on a toothpick. It takes more than driver juggling to do it. Balanced frame construction is what lets us ride this two-wheel tightrope. Oops. Think we'll make it? Well, take a look at the rugged steel backbone in that chassis. A rigid box girder frame with no excess weight and with a road holding low center of gravity makes it a cinch for us to come off these runs right side up. Just in case you're wondering what would happen if my boy didn't make it, I rigged this little stunt. Up and over. And these especially braced old jalopies we use in our shows really take a pounding. But it wouldn't prove a thing unless we put one of our regular cars in our fleet through this exact same routine. And this will really give you an idea of how rugged Chevrolet is. Because we run them brand new in this rollover demonstration. And this 1956 Chevrolet has no special reinforcement whatsoever. Here we go. Hold it. This is too good to miss. So let's start at the beginning again and run it real slow so you can see for yourself the full wallop this car takes on the rollover. As tough as any proving ground test a car can be put through. Durability? Brother, that solid, sturdy, double wall steel construction really gives durability to Chevrolet. Because here we are, heads up and running. A car that can do that means the world to you in your everyday driving. And talking about everyday driving, I'm sure you won't get tied up in many situations like this. But to be freewheeling in tight spots where every inch counts is something we just don't take for granted. We've got to be sure of split second response with every turn of the steering wheel. And no matter how or where you drive, when threading through traffic, cornering, taking the wide turns or the sharp turns on the highways, steering control is the key to easy, fatigue-free handling. You'll want that split-second response, and you'll get it from the same place we get it, from Chevrolet's ball race steering gear. It cuts friction and drag down to practically nothing. Besides, these outrigger rear springs mounted outside the frame members reduce sway and body roll on the sharpest of turns, producing sure fire control every foot of the way. Routines like this could be a tough, nerve-wracking grind, but behind the wheel of a Chevrolet, they're just the smooth, easy handling pleasure that's tops in our book, and can be the same for any driver who chooses Chevrolet. Now, no matter how good roads are these days, your car still takes plenty of bumps and jolts. But they're nothing compared to this ramp jump I'm going to show you for demonstration purposes. No sway, no swerve. Perfect balance, 
and a perfect landing. It's a jarring test of the springs, chassis, and frame, and the pounding we give these same cars day after day proves beyond all doubt that they're built to take it under the roughest driving conditions. Of course, no one drives on such roads all the time, but the times that you do, it's good to know that the Chevrolet you drive can take this kind of punishment. I'm sure you won't be doing this kind of high flying, and no man would, even in this business, if he wasn't absolutely sold on the car he used. It takes power, the solid, dependable V8 power you've got at the tip of your toe when you press down on a Chevrolet accelerator. In case you missed some of that, we'll try it again. This is something we can do only on film, but it'll show you how steady Chevrolet is even flying high like this. And in this demonstration, you'll see 1956 Chevrolet durability put to the acid test. A car has to have everything to do this and survive, especially durability. And considering that this same car was used for the rollover stunt, it's really rugged. Here's another chance to see what I mean. With Chevrolet, I know I can drive away under my own power every time. And I've got to know if I'm going to put on another show tomorrow. You can take my word, we live to drive and drive to live. And Chevrolet is the car we trust our lives to. Day in, day out, night after night, we show off our driving skills with this package of driving thrills. But more than that, we prove every day that the extra margin of safety every family wants in a family car is built into a Chevrolet. Yes, this is the outfit, and here is the slogan they swear and live by. I drove all three. Comparison proves it's Chevrolet for me. It's a cinch this fellow knows, and you'll know too once you get behind the wheel of a Chevrolet.